Hello students. In this next session, we'll be starting with regions of root. In last session, we did about types of root, that is adventitious root, tap root, and fibrous roots. Now in this session, we are going to study about regions. So we have four regions. You can say four zones or horizons of root. First one is root cap region. Then we have a regions of marismatic activity, then elongation zone, then maturation zone. So first one is root cap region. In every root, we have a root cap. It is present at the apex. You can see this. This is root cap. So the root is covered at the apex by a thimble-like structure. We call it root cap. It protects the tender apex of the root as it makes its way through the soil. So the function of root cap is to protect the apex of root, which is very tender. Okay. This is root cap. It is generally found in mesophytes and xerophytes. So we can found root cap in mesophytes and xerophytes, but it is absent in hydrophytes. In hydrophytes, we have root pockets. So in free floating hydrophytes, root pockets are present instead of root caps. Second one is marismatic region. It is just present above the root cap. This is marismatic region. You can say marismatic zone. A few millimeters above the root cap is called marismatic zone. It consists of apical meristem. The cells of this region are very small thin wall and with dense protoplasm. They divide repeatedly. The entire growth of root depends on this zone. So it's a growth zone for root. Elongation zone. This is a region just above the marismatic zone. The region proximal to marismatic region is called region of elongation. In this region, cell undergoes rapid elongation and enlargement and are responsible for the growth of the root in length. So growth of the root in length takes place in elongation region. Marismatic was the dividing region. Where cell divide. Ho Maturation zone. Region of maturation. It is proximal to the elongation region. In this region, cell gradually differentiate and mature. So there is a differentiation of cell and maturation of cell takes place in region of maturation zone. Secondary growth occurs in maturation region. All right, students, that's all for this. We'll be studying this in much more detail in our classroom session. Thank you so much.